Workflows are one of the most important aspects to Hitachi content intelligence. They connect data connections, processing pipelines, and index collections together to perform operations on documents, which are the pieces of data read by a workflow task. Today, we will take a quick tour through how the Workflow Designer app and the Search app can work in tandem to provide you with a knowledge base of search results. By running workflows through the Workflow Designer app, the content that appears in the Search app can be aggregated into categories or facets. Facets help to categorize the results that are returned from the workflow, allowing you to filter the documents. For this example, our user has chosen file type, genre, product, and product version as facets. The results appear in the center of the screen with both field names and field values displayed. Links to the documents, images representing the document type, and document fields all appear in the results. To get a list of results, run a workflow. Workflows let you choose which data to process, how to process it, and what to do with the results when they appear in the search app. All workflows have inputs, or data sources, processing pipelines, where the logic is executed, and an output, typically an index collection. In order to set up an input for a workflow, you must first create a data connection. Every data connection has different configuration information dependent upon its type. For this example, our user has created an HCP data connection to connect to their HCP system. Next, create the pipelines to process the documents. Pipelines let us determine what information is important, how it's extracted, and how it's enriched or transformed into something usable in the search app results. You can add any number of processing pipelines to a workflow. And when it runs, the documents will pass through them in sequential order. Here is an example of a pipeline. This pipeline uses the drop document stage to remove zip files from the results. Given that our user is assembling a knowledge base, this provides a clean presentation of document results with all archive files being dropped. Each pipeline has logic, also known as conditions, that are applied to the documents processed through them. Documents that meet these conditions are then sent through to the stages within the conditional statement. All other documents bypass them entirely. The conditions in this first pipeline are what remove zip files from the workflow. The second pipeline consists of three stages, mind type detection, text and metadata extraction, and date conversion. The mind type detection stage helps us detect the type of file that we are processing. The text and metadata extraction stage creates new fields that can be used later in the pipeline, captured in the index, and optionally used by the search app. The date conversion stage normalizes dates into Coordinated Universal Time, or UTC, to ensure that all dates and timestamps are indexed uniformly. All three pipeline stages help aggregate and organize our process documents as results in our knowledge base. The third pipeline uses the tagging stage to add new fields and values to the documents. The fields and values that you configure for the stage are added to all documents that pass through it. This is how content types are assigned in order to classify documents with facets. The fourth pipeline uses the mapping stage to append the display image field value. This provides an image preview of any applicable files in our search app results. Here is an example of how images in our results appear by appending this value. All images are now listed with previews. The fifth pipeline uses the mapping stage as well to append the display video field value. This provides us with a video preview of any applicable files in our search app results. Here is an example of how videos in our results appear by appending this value. A widget displays the video preview that can be played straight from the results. All of these previews are set up from within the query settings of the index collection. These settings determine what information is used by the search app to display search results. In the results tab of the query setting, you will notice the display image and display video values assigned to the result fields. These fields are then paired with the data return from the image and video pipelines we've created. The tagging stage is used across other pipelines as well to assign categories to our documents, such as product line, product version, and so on. At this point, the documents have gone through all of the stages in the workflow pipelines. 
They are then sent through the output to an index collection. For this example, our user has named their index collection Content Portfolio. When an index collection is created, a public query setting is assigned to it by default. This is where the search app receives the results that it displays. If you have files that need to be kept private, however, pipelines can also be used to add access control lists, or ACLs, through the document security stage. You can use these ACLs to configure which documents are made available to specific users by applying permissions as the workflow processes them. This allows for your results to be displayed to specific search users based upon their user or group ID. If a user is not part of the specific group, they will not be able to see the document. After this pipeline is created, the access control can be modified and enabled through the index collections query settings. Query settings also control what fields are parsed and displayed in the results display of the search app through its configuration panel. To further refine all of the fields that have been processed in our index collection in order to display specific ones, you can enable and disable them through the facets section of the index collections query settings. This is what produces the file type, genre, product version, and product categories we saw earlier in our search app results. Enabling and disabling facets dynamically changes the results that are displayed in the search app. It provides a powerful tool for browsing documents in a knowledge base. Our user here can be seen disabling the genre facet. When the page is refreshed, it no longer displays in the results. Refinements are an additional way of searching through your results. They use dynamic filters and can be enabled and disabled from within the query settings for an index collection. After a user performs a search in the search app, the Refine button appears. This button allows the user to select additional fields to narrow their search results. While facets provide you with a fixed widget to search by, refinements allow you to choose different search parameters on the fly. Lastly, you can define what fields are sorted on in the results and in what order they are sorted. What shows up in this dropdown is controlled by the configuration of the query. In the end, we are provided with a knowledge base of clean and concise results.